So let's move on next to creating a file geo database domain table feature data set and feature class. And we're going to do that to learn the general process of how to create a file geo database. And we're also going to take these data sets we downloaded off the web and export subsets of them into this file geo database. So this data in general performs a little bit better by basically just creating a smaller subset. So as always, save your work if you haven't already. And it never hurts to turn things off even just for performance. So right now we've got a blank map because we're going to do some sort of what you might call back-end file work. So let's first show you how to create a file geo database. Now you do get a file geo database when you create the project, but for thoroughness I want to show you how to create one from scratch. And to start the process, one way you can do it, I'm going to go to the home directory, right click on that folder and do new file geo database. And I'm going to call it Dorian damage because that's what this database is about. Now before I start creating specific feature classes and feature data sets in this file geo database, I'm actually going to create a domain table. And if you might recall a domain table is sometimes it might be called a lookup table. It basically is a table of a certain range of values that can be filled in in another table. And the example I used earlier in these videos was when you buy something online and you have to, you have to fill out your address, you'll put the name of your state in and there's a or country or wherever and there's a predetermined finite list of things. And that's what a domain table is and we can do that with file geo databases. And because we're going to be doing damage assessment when we looked at that imagery, we're going to have some categories we'll use for determining the damage level of a building. And that's a great example of creating a domain table because I want consistency in how I assess the damage level of a building. And that could be particularly important if you have multiple people that are doing damage assessment of imagery, which actually is a really common thing. So to create a domain table, I'm going to right click on the newly created file geo database and select domains. And this brings up the domain interface here. And so I'm going to click this button here where it says new domain. And I'm going to call it, the name of the domain table is going to be damage level. And I might give it a description of Categories used to determine damage level. Now in this case, I'm actually not going to make it a text field. I'm going to make it a short integer because what I'm going to do is store a number but display um, a coded domain value like it says here. And so the way that works is I'll make a code of one and it's going to be described as no damage. I'll make a code of two that's moderate damage. And a code of three that's going to be severe damage. And again, the reason I do that is I don't want to store, especially a long string like no space damage. Maybe if I made a typo or a spelling error, I'd have to go fix that everywhere. And it also just is less disk space to use a numeric code. I know that a one represents no damage and so forth. And we'll see how that works in practice in just a moment. So I've created the new domain. I'll hit the save button. And so now that domain table is inside of my file geo database and I can use it when I create feature classes. And before we create a feature class, let's now create a feature data set. And as a reminder, 
A featured data set is a logical way of organizing things inside of your file geo database. So to create my feature data set, I'm going to go to the file geo database, right click and do new feature data set. And I'm going to make this feature data set for all of my damage assessments. So I'm going to look at anything related to inspecting damaged buildings, damaged roads and so forth. That will be inside of this feature data set. So it's pretty easy to create. I'll just give it a name. Now in terms of the coordinate systems, it's outside the scope of this video to talk about coordinate systems, but here's a card you can look at if you want some more background on that topic. And it's starting with the default coordinate system from the map, but what I'm gonna do is click on here and I'm going to use WGS 1984, which is a really good, straightforward, reliable coordinate system that works in a lot of cases. Now it's showing up here, but let me show you how I can, if it's not how you can find it, if I just type in WGS 1984, you'll see it comes up under geographic coordinate systems, world, and then WGS 1984. So that will become the coordinate system for this feature data set. And as I've said before, every feature class inside of this feature data set will have to use this coordinate system. So hit the run button. And green is good. Everything looks good. If I go back to catalog, and you can see now I have a feature data set inside of the file geo database. Next, let me show you how to create a feature class inside of the feature data set we just created. And this feature class we'll use in a moment for digitizing damaged buildings off of that image we downloaded. It's again, pretty easy to create a feature class. The way that I'll show you how to do it is I'm going to go to the feature data set, right click, and do new feature class. And as I said, this is going to be used to digitize damaged buildings. So I'm going to name it damaged buildings. And I'm going to make sure that it's a polygon and you can see your different geometries, but it's going to be a polygon. And then I'll hit the next button and I'll add a couple fields to it. Let's say, for example, I'm going to give these buildings all some kind of identifier. So I'll click here and I'll make a field called building ID. And an ID can be anything. Um, you could have it be a text ID. I'll make it a short integer. And now I'm going to add another field that's going to have the damage level and that's going to be related to the domain and the domain is still on the screen here. And the way I'll, I'll put that in is I'll call it I'll call it damage level and I'm going to make it also a short integer because again, that domain table we just created a few moments ago is really storing a short integer, but displaying the text of the damage level. So just two fields because this is a quick demonstration. Um, it's already got the coordinate system because it's inside the feature data set and I'll hit finish. And now if you see, I expand out, I now have a feature class that I just created a polygon feature class that's inside of a feature data set that's inside of a file geo database. And that's really the essence of file geo databases. We'll do a few additional things, but that's the basic structure, sort of even the hierarchy of how things work inside of a file geo database. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon 
to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.